I was just backstage talking with Chris and Amy's children, Sarah and Logan. Um, you guys watched the interaction. What was your reaction to what you watched? I thought that um, what you had her do did uh, slow her ticks down a little bit. I, I was checking for a few things. Um, I wanted to know how compliant she could be. Mm -hmm. Um, I wanted to know how suggestible she was. Um, I wanted to know if she could soothe herself at all with anything that was positively r rhythmic, breathing in and out mm -hmm. at the same pace. Right. And her, just in that few seconds, her tick behavior calmed a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to add someone to this conversation. Uh, he is the chief of neuroradiology for Medical Imaging Center of Southern California. He's the founder and CEO of Smart Brain and Health. Uh, I'm talking about Dr. Bradley Javor. Uh, Brad, can you join us up here, if you would, please? Please welcome Dr. Javor. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Uh, please meet Chris and uh, Amy. Nice uh, Dr. Jabor, you have um, been studying this case for quite some time. We sent you hundreds and hundreds of pages of medical records. You and I have talked. We have met. We have talked. What do you think is going on here? This is a structural connectivity problem in the orbitofrontal area in the limbic corticostriatal system. A, a mouthful, but it means that the wires, the computer wires in the brain, some of the computers are firing incorrectly and some of the wires are not working and conducting the messages properly. Okay, now one of the things that you are considering is having brain surgery with her. And this involves um, an implant, but this is a deep brain implant. Can you give us just a few sentences about this surgery, doctor? The surgery itself requires drilling into the brain and then through a small incision um, a device is placed into the deep mechanisms of the brain which can be regulated to either stimulate or suppress brain activity. If you would step over here with me and don't glaze over. I really want you guys to understand this. What we're seeing here is a three-dimensional image of the brain, right? Of the brain with the face um, so that you can see the, the surface landmarks. Right. And then this is a cut through the brain, and it is cut this way, right? If you were cutting this way through the brain, correct? Right. Yeah. And what we're seeing with the different colors denote pathways that run in different directions, right? Correct. Tell us what the green is front to back. Yeah, so these are the, the computer wires in the brain. The green are running f front to back, the purple up and down, and the red left to right. Right. And um, so this is what, when we're saying this is a brain wiring problem, we're talking, when we say deep implants, at this level. Now, what we have here, if you can talk us through this a little bit, this is a brain that is having abnormal activity in terms of OCD and depression, correct? Correct. This area of the brain right here um, is showing, showing us what? Well, it's showing hyperconnectivity. The, the, area of the frontal area of the brain where a lot of our mood and ritualistic behavior when it's too active like that. So OCD type symptoms when we look at this area over here, this is after what? After 30 treatments. It took a long time for this to happen, because usually we only treat for 25 treatments. It took 35 treatments, but the, both the behavior as well as the brain findings both subsided to a point where she became functional. Okay, now we're going to talk about what that treatment was in a minute, but this was totally non-invasive treatment, to correct? Totally safe, biologically okay. safe, non-invasive. Nothing surgical here, and what we're seeing is this area completely quietened down up here to a much more normal area. This patient was a completely different person. Yeah. Back to an, a normal functioning human being and her family, which were very disrupted by this behavior, 
could now get back to normal. Great. Let's have a seat, and we'll talk about, uh, we, we're talking about this treatment. Um, basically, uh, what are we talking about here in terms of this neuro-navigation MRI-guided treatment? Well, first, we would have to clarify that Sarah truly had some of the comorbid components, which looks like are in, in strong display from everything we saw today. But we'd want to see it and on, a, and on a functional MRI and see if there is something we can fix. Once we find it, we can now approach the exact region with um, X, Y, and Z co coordinates, much like a Google map where mm -hmm. you say, I want to go there. You can direct the TMS treatment, which is really a changing magnetic field focused on specific neurons very accurately, and you can switch it off. Okay, and let me translate some of this for you. Because there has been a transcranial magnetic stimulation treatment that has been available for some time. What Dr. Jabor and his team have done is they now use an MRI neural navigation to not just hit a portion of the brain, but they're able to actually go in to an, the actual sulcus where something may be residing where there's hyperconnectivity or an absence of connectivity in a specific fold of the brain, correct? Correct, yeah. Tourette's is a syndrome that almost never, if ever, exists in isolation. There are components to it, OCD, depression, anxiety, ADHD, these things that there are known structures to. Oftentimes, if you begin to quiet these things down, then the, the motor tics, the vocal tics, become much less intense, much less frequent, and much less duration. But this is something that I, the minute I saw this case, I, I got in touch with Dr. Jabor, because while there is no guarantee that this can help your daughter. There is no guarantee that this can eliminate or bring under control Tourette's. There is substantial evidence that this could help her in an appreciable way in terms of, of some of the component parts that define the Tourette's that you're living with. Dr. Jabor has agreed to do the evaluation and to see if, if he can help your daughter if you would like Oh, very much. Uh, to pursue that. Yes, you thank, you. To do thank, that? You. thank you. Thank uh, you. We want to give this girl some help. Thank you. Okay. All right, fair enough. Thank you. All thank right, you. up yeah. next, we're thank switching you. gears. What do 49 million people have in common? I'll tell you when we come back. Closed captioning provided by 